I have the rare privilege of sitting down with a wonderful woman who grew up in Ithaca, Gemma Manchera, and she was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, a condition that she uh, recognized in 2002. Instead of uh, re taking all of the doctor's recommendations, Gemma decided to take a college writing course and to write down her most vivid memories and experiences. And I want to say that what is the purpose to you to have written these things down after you were diagnosed with Alzheimer's at the onset when the memories were very clear to you, when your ability to express to other people is very strong? Um, w were you trying to write those things down before you forgot them? No, I think I, I read that, that, that keeping a diary is very valuable. Okay. And, um, and, oh, and then being a child of immigrant parents, um, I felt it, it important to record my life. Uh, once again, I was just recently reminded and I, and, uh, I, that there, there are fewer Italian-American women writers of my generation. Than, than any, any other, other than a, a, yes, and for me to be a writer when I wasn't raised, you know, I was either get married or join a convent. Yeah, women, women, that's our two roles in the, my mom's, you know, our generation, and so I'm, I'm eternally grateful, and then, and then I realized um, as I was healing, that um, it was um, that I felt important that I record my healing. Since, that, since the medical profession is still saying there's no known cause or cure, and that's terrible. I mean, I wouldn't be here today if, if, I, if I believed that. Yeah. I'd be in, in a nursing home or dead or whatever, so, yeah. So, poetry circle, mm -hmm. living downtown, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. having access to not only your necessities of material life, but to be involved in a social climate. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. These are all things That's that have been of a tremendous tre benefit yes, yes, to yes. your mental acuity, yes. your own ability to live in the present moment. Mm -hmm. And also, right after my husband left, I, I love adultery. Okay, a woman came and took my abusive husband away from me, so then I, I got psychotherapy and, and, um, and was able to heal and get to, got to college and whatever. Yes. And, and, um, uh, oh, and at, at, at that same time, the, the the Jewish church was formed, and then two, Kate, and then John John Payne came applied for a position at Cornell University, and his wife uh, came with him, who was a librarian, and she started a library. Okay, and I and I and I was a friend of mine told me about the Foundation of Lights, a spiritual organization. Okay. The Foundation of Light. The Foundation of Light. She came up with statements about healing various aspects of our lives and, and, made, and, she, and using um, proper equipment, she came up with tapes that she recorded. And uh, I helped her. Um, at oh, oh, she would order books for those of us also. Not only for books for the library up there, but if members of the organization, if we wanted a book, she, she would order them, and I would go up and help her un unload the boxes, and um, and I would ask her about some tapes for me and whatever. I wouldn't be here about, without the growler tapes, and she also made flower essences out of plants. Yes. Okay. The essential the, oils. The, the, well, the essential oils and things like that. Yes, no drugs. Right. Out of plants, healthy, healthy organic plants. Tinctures. Uh huh. And that we would take between one and four four drops, uh, three times a day, I believe. Yes, and look at the healing that uh, I've, I've experienced because of that. I'm so grateful to, to Ithaca and what we have here. This gave me purpose for me to, to, to something, something very useful and productive and, and valued in society and um, uh, creative and uh, journal. And diaries are very, th very th therapeutic, keeping yeah. diaries. You're not carrying all that information. and and experience around inside of you every day. You, you write it in a book and you release it and you move on. And uh, I've just recently real, learned, it's, I've, I think I got help more than the people that I've, that I've helped. So uh, yeah. yeah, I'm very grateful, eternally grateful that I, 
being in Ithaca, where there's a lot of talented people, and I joined a, I joined a, a poetry group, and uh, and then um, uh, I took a did I, did I take a writing course at Yes, you've had quite a life. You've it's um, all in the book, and the the memories that you have growing up in Ithaca with the grapevines and the fruits in your backyard. Mm -hmm. um, the love that you had for your father mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and uh, mm -hmm. the experiences that you had growing up, it's all in the book. Your writing style is eloquent. It brings me to where you were when you had those experiences. Beverly Martin was our um, class president. Yeah. And, we, and she was black, African American. Okay, and, and then that school, the elementary school that's named after her. Um, I couldn't bring her here. Mom, mom had, was, uh, couldn't accept black people. Okay, we were friends in school, and, but I could never invite her here. And my father was not like that. He accepted everybody and saw them, and treated them honestly, and he was honest. He didn't try to cheat. Working class uh, people often tr try, would cheat the, the uh, affluent. People, okay, because the working class was often mistreated, and in order to get back at them, if they could steal from the work from the from the from the higher up, they would. And my my father wasn't like that, so I, I respected him, and my value system. I I don't know if you self-described or if this is the description that somebody offered, um, that you're called a crone. And that is no, I didn't write that. Who is? Who wrote that? Patty. Patty? Oh, Patty, who edited, who edited the book. No, I didn't write that. Yeah, is it, do you have any shame of, of being called a crone? No. It's what you are? No. Uh, what is, what's the definition of a crone? Well, I'm not so sure of the definition, but the teaching that I have familiarity with is that the women have three separate selves that are divided between the maiden, the mother, and the crone. Oh, so the oh, crone was oh. the old woman. Oh, oh, so. the act, active. An, the, act, an active woman who doesn't sit around all day and, and uh, a crone? Um, that reads a I, modern day crone. Modern day crone. The modern day crones are active women. Is that, is that what you're saying? I'm saying that they are the the mothers of the mothers. The, the, the mothers. We, they're mother. respected. They're respected. Well, I believe that crones should be respected. The issue of whether they are or not, oh. you know, is oh. something for an entire society it's to qualify. Oh. You know how oh. we, how how <coughs> children treat their grandmothers. How, mm -hmm. how we look after mm -hmm. um, crones is, 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 is a key point for society to say how advanced a oh, culture actually oh, is. Oh. Well, let me share with you that it, that it took four years for Patty to re-edit my book. Uh -huh. And, and um, I, I thought I would die before she, she actually got it finished. And um, so I often call, and, and then when I, when I would call her and ask her how she's doing, she, she wouldn't answer the phone. But when she came to visit me and show me, and ask me questions or, have, or show me what she's doing, if someone called her, she would answer the phone. So I felt that I was being mistreated and whatever, and that sometimes I got a little abusive, verbally abusive oh. on the phone. But when she, when, I, when she sent me a copy of the book, I, I had to call her and apologize. Had a sense of relief. Well, yes. What a beautiful, what a beautiful job she she's done. Yes. Well, thanks for sitting down and talking with me. Oh well, I, I need to thank you. Yeah. Yes, I mean, for this for this to happen, it's 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 so amazing. Um, Is there to anything me. you want to say to somebody who might be watching to offer encouragement, inspiration? Well, yes. Don't give. Well, don't give up. And and. Um, Get psychotherapy. You know, men men don't go for psychotherapy. They can't admit that they don't know everything. Oh, there's plenty I, of, of men my generation that seek psychotherapy in my generation. Of your generation, yeah, but my generation, they didn't. That's why I, when I was single and and uh, and the, and 
and uh, men were attracted to me and, and we had relationships, but they, they were very emotionally disturbed and whatever, and I, so I, I had to stay single. Of course, now we have to question um, educated people. <laughs> you know, you have to, you just, just because someone has a degree doesn't mean they're 100% right or whatever, so it's more difficult. To get the proper the advice. Proper, the proper right, advice. True right, psychotherapy. True, yes, yes. And where do you start yes. with psychotherapy? Yes. That's a whole other conversation. Yes, yes. Or, 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 you know, what kind of help, medicinal help or... Uh, it's, yeah. Yes, and what to stay away from, you know, the cell phones, how harmful they are, and there's a whole book. Oh, I've got collections of, of articles and recipes and, and um, about healing, and, and, uh, and I'm trying to clean up. Oh, I had to give, I had to give Walter my, my junk room where I could store stuff. I didn't know where to, where to put it, but I could put it in there until I figured it out. Well, I've, all that's been brought out, and I've, I'm going through it now. And, 